The following story, while ridiculous in parts, is completely true, and exists as a postscript to the Napoleonic Wars. The year is 1805, and while Napoleon's armies battle for supremacy on the continent, a French fishing vessel drifts perilously off course. Um, could we have some French music, please? Cue, cue the music. Capitaine, je pense que nous sommes perdus. Vatez vingt pounds, je peux voir le continent. Je ne pense pas qui ce soit France. La Russie. Merde. The ship smashed and the crew obliterated. If an investigation were ever convened, it would have determined that the egregious navigation errors were caused by an unfavorable winds, excessive drinking, and general neglect of duties. As the last member of the crew perished, the sole survivor of the crash was determined. A pet monkey, dressed in the uniform of a French officer for the amusement of the previously living crew, clings for his life and prays for the current to take him ashore. About this time, Britain was greatly excited by the threat of a French invasion. The noblemen and people of condition loyally raised regiments to resist the invaders. The villagers of Hartlepool were not particularly well known for their bravery or vigour, but were certainly experiencing this trickle-down patriotism. While many indeed were ready to kill any invading Frenchman on sight, nobody from this particularly sheltered town quite knew what one looked like. Their appearance was something spoken about in whisper over supper. Pa, what do Frenchmen look like? Oh, they're terrible. Creatures. Half man, half beast. They've got great big eyes, great big ears and great big claws. <coughs> the world was a much bigger place then, and the untravelled eyes of the Hartley Pudlians could not rightly distinguish a Frenchman from any other foreign being, whether that be a German, a Russian or indeed a monkey. This creature was short, hairy, and he spoke with an indecipherable accent. And what's more, he wore a French military uniform. With the potential spy captured, the Hartlepudlians hosted an impromptu trial for the monkey. You there, Frenchman? Are you here to spy on us? What are you doing here, Frenchman? Your silence isn't helping you, Frenchman. Unable to answer their questions, the monkey was quickly found guilty by the kangaroo court and was sentenced to death by hanging. With justice dispensed and the potential evasion thwarted, the people of Hartlepool dispersed and went back to their lives. The hanged monkey remained a symbol that the quick thinking of Hartlepool's plucky citizenry dissuaded the perfidious French from ever attempting a similar ruse. <laughs>